Well, the best kept secret in the universe. I know. I want in. Not your status quo at the theater. Here to see Men in Black International. Take it away, guys. What do you think? It's kind of a reboot of the old series starring Tessa Thompson and Chris Hemsworth. I'm looking forward to seeing them together. They're always really good together. I mean, I enjoyed the uh, Tommy Lee Jones, Will Smith movies, so I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful this is uh, carrying on the tradition. So, I personally, I'm not. Um, I didn't care for the last two Men in Black, so I, I enjoyed the first one. I didn't care for the second one or the uh, or the third one as much. I thought the third one was better. So, third three know, was better than two. Yeah, it was. Um, I, I have my reservations. We'll see how it turns out. I'm just looking to be entertained. Are you suggesting that we try the most powerful weapon in the galaxy for fun? Do it. Press the button. Mm. Turn it up a few. Oh! And we are out. Just finished uh, seeing Men in Black International. It was good. Don't get me wrong. Uh, Could have been much better, I think. Uh, I don't know if my hopes, I, I, well, what do you guys think? I, I don't know if my expectations were just too high, but I don't know, some of the jokes fell flat. They did. Well, let me just say, there will be spoilers in this review. So if you oh, want to yeah. go ahead and uh, like see it first and then watch our spoilers, that's fine. But from here on in, we probably will have some spoilers. Yeah, so if you haven't seen it, you don't want spoilers, turn off the video and come back after you see it. If you don't care about spoilers, keep watching. Okay. That's right. So uh, like you were saying, go ahead, Doug. Yeah, so um, I'm kind of the opposite of Keith. So I went into the, to the movie not really expecting a whole lot. I was actually pleasantly surprised. I thought it was done well. I wouldn't necessarily call it a reboot. I would call it a continuation because they definitely did reference the previous movies. They had an image, you know. This was just a different story. And that was, uh, this is, you know, just different characters and different authors. No, you're right. It definitely wasn't a reboot. After seeing it, they're just kind of continuing the story. Yeah, yeah. I mean... For me, there was, you know, a sort of a, a plot about a mole inside Men in Black. Yes. And they weren't subtle about making it look like everyone was this mole. And I, I don't know. It was in just... cliche form, it was the top guy. Of course. It, you know, that's the way you expect it to be. And it's not, it's always there's somebody off to the side, you know, at the beginning who was also high level, who's kind of squirrely. And you just, you're supposed to suspect him. It's very, like, 80s written to me. You can see that stuff coming. But I still liked it. I still had fun. Um, I liked the Mo Mjolnir moment. Yes. Oh, oh yes. That was okay, good. so we got we to gotta talk a little bit about that. Okay, so we mentioned Chris Hemsworth. He is uh, one, of the, one of the main stars in this movie. And uh, as you guys know from watching all of our other videos that you've also liked and subscribed to, um, he plays Thor in uh, all of the uh, MCU movies. So they do nod to that, which is uh, very cool. I did. And, and, you know, the thing is, too, and I thought the... I was really expecting some excellent chemistry between Tessa Thompson and Chris Hemsworth. And it was there at times, kind of a little bit, but Chris Hemsworth's character was so annoying to me. And, you know, at one part she goes, you're inept, arrogant, something else came up, which she said, I'm like, yeah, he is. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't know, I just didn't I like him as a main character. And we come to find out that it was because he was basically uh, neuralized yeah. by them. If that's really what happens when you get neuralized, there's a lot of people that are jacked up in this world because they neuralize a lot of people. I've been I don't know, that just kind of annoyed me. I so, was like, ugh. Yeah, I, I like thought that. the same that, at the beginning of the movie. That makes me wonder. They did mention, um, I believe, in uh, the New York scene, the worms. Uh, when she was uh, getting on the, on the train. Yes, on the train. They were talking about how somebody had been neuralizing themselves and now they're acting a little goofy. Was that what, uh, was that alluding to? I think that was foreshadowing. A little yeah. foreshadowing. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah, in the beginning, I was getting annoyed with how inept he was. And then you it was almost Jar Jar Binks again. I kept thinking, yeah. oh my god, they've made another Jar Jar Binks. I don't Binks. know if it was that bad. It wasn't that bad, because you know, Chris Hemsworth was a little yeah. nicer on the eyes than Jar Jar was. To me, he was uh, okay. sli like, <laughs> slight, slightly dumber Thor, maybe. <laughs> yeah, he uh, but he, Thor. So I was talking to Dave about this earlier. Um, it wasn't as bad as his role in Ghostbusters. It wasn't that dumb. It wasn't bad inept. See, I liked his role in Ghostbusters. I, see, now I didn't. I thought that I was thought funny. He took it too far. Didn't see it. See, I thought it, I thought it was funny because he was so dumb. He was almost Homer Simpson dumb in <laughs> Ghostbusters. Here, they toned it down, and it just didn't. He just seemed inept and annoying. Hmm. Well, he got he got together um, about halfway through. Yeah, once he figured out he was neuralized. Yeah. You know, he figured out with Tessa's help, Agent M. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I knew as soon as any movie, anytime you see a creature at the beginning, 
when you see that little thing with young Tessa Thompson's character Molly, I'm like, okay, when are we going to see it again? And it happened yep. just in time in Riz's uh, <laughs> to save the world. Oh yeah. So there was a lot of cliches, and it's still fun. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it's a good movie, and I enjoyed seeing it. I probably won't buy this on DVD or Blu-ray, I should say. But it's still a good movie. If you like Men in Black, see it in the theaters. Absolutely. And remember, if you like what you see, please give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell to be notified of future videos. So uh, what kind of rating would you give this? You know, I'm going to give it a uh, 7 point. I'm going to steal your rating and give it 4 Newtons wide. Okay. Uh, I am going to give this uh, four Roswell aliens out of ten. Well, it's not going to save itself.